Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River No Boundaries 19.2 travel trailer. This is a new floor plan for the No Boundaries lineup. We're going to take a few minutes, run you around the inside and then back out to the outside of this new RV. Alright guys, we're now up inside the new No Boundaries 19.2 model. And as you can see, we're looking toward the front of the coach here. This is the queen master bedroom area there. So you have your traditional house queen up front, 60 by 80, which is a little larger than a normal 60 by 74 RV queen that you find in a lot of smaller brands. Um, so a lot easier for you to find sheets and blankets, that type of stuff that really fits your mattress. Uh, hanging closet on both sides of the bed. They are backlit there with the little LED lights. And then you have individual reading lights on both sides. Um, USB charger ports and electric outlets on, again, both sides of the bed. Back in behind that little closet on each side is another little storage area, shelf area. So you can kind of put your alarm clock or reading glasses, whatever you want to kind of put up there. And then you even have a little bit of space up above the little shelf area up there. Now, one of the things that's a little unique on this particular floor plan is it's a Murphy bed. So that bed will actually flip up that you'll see here in the picture. And there's a couch for two or three people to sit on during the day. So it's kind of cool, just kind of saving space. Now, in below that area is also some more storage space down there. Now, over to the right area, again, you got a little kind of nightstand area there, whatever you want to set there. There's another little cabinet down below there. Up here on the driver's side wall, you have a 28-inch LED TV. This is technically an option, so you don't have to buy it. But a lot of dealers do stock it with this TV, in part because it's a 12-volt TV. So as long as you've got a battery, a good battery on the RV, you can stop at a rest area or Walmart parking lot, those type of things, and still be able to watch TV for a little while. Back in on the left, you can kind of see that little red light there. That's the power booster for the antenna to help bring in digital TV. Uh, emergency exit window there does open as a traditional window as well. Kind of panning back around here toward the kitchen area. Down below there, you can see there's little storage underneath of there. There's also the new dust pan vac feature down below. So that does actually have a little, take a little broom or something, sweep it right in. Um, there's also hoses you can buy for it aftermarket if you want, um, but it does not actually come with the hose from the factory, just the dustpan vac part. Um, convection microwave there, so you can bake or microwave either one. Little lighted spice rack holder down there. Two burner gas stove top. Pretty good size, uh, dark stainless kind of sink look there, along with the dark high rise faucet. Some overhead cabinets and stuff as well. Now on the 19 series, you do get a larger refrigerator. So you have the 6 cubic foot gas and electric uh, refrigerator back here. So pretty good size. More of what you find in the larger RVs um, compared to the 16 series, which does the 5 cubic foot. And right there to the left of the refrigerator is also some more closet space for you. And just below that is your furnace, which is a propane furnace. That's pretty much what's found in all RVs. Um, you have the electric box along with your propane leak detector down below. Now this area is kind of unique um, for an RV this size. It actually has two removable little swivel reclining chairs. So during the day, if it's nice, you take these outside, set them up under the awning area. You have a little table area there that does actually fold down. So you have plenty of room in here when the chairs are out and the table's down. You've got quite a bit of floor space in here. But you also, again, can set it all up in here, sit here, eat dinner, uh, kick back, watch TV kind of thing. 
Now up above the chair back there is the 12 volt heated holding tank switches, monitor panels, water heater panels, um, all that type of stuff there. You have a pretty good amount of overhead cabinetry right here. And then you also have the pre-wire for the solar panel system if you want to put a solar panel system on it. And on the side of the cabinet there, again, some more light switches, USB charger ports, the little uh, JBL Bluetooth portable speaker uh, mount there as well. 13.5 BTU air conditioning system. Then back here in the back section is your bathroom. And you've got a really large bathroom for a small RV. Um, you do have your traditional shower pan and stuff over here. So you've got your shower on the right-hand side there. Little pull-across curtain, which is on a track, so it's less likely to leak. Overhead skylight. Nice big turbo exhaust fan in there to help vent out any moisture and stuff like that. And you've got a window on the back, which does actually open. Little storage below the uh, sink area. Foot flush toilet. Then over here on this side, we'll step into the shower here, give you a little bit better view of the bathroom. Um, but you've, again, got plenty of room to kind of close the door, get in and out of here, get dressed. And you have a really large closet area here as well. So for a smaller RV, you definitely have a good-sized bathroom. And that's a big sliding pocket door there that comes all the way across with a little magnetic holder on it. Don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos on these new RVs as they come in. Uh, check out Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. We're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside and kind of show you around the exterior features. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new No Boundaries RV here. And we're going to start here toward the front section. As you can see here on the front, you have a nice fiberglass cap. It is an upgrade over the 16 series and 10 series. So it's got a little bit thicker, heavier duty front nose. You got a windshield in the front, LED light strip across the top there. Power tongue jack with a built-in light. Two inch ball, typical safety chains, breakaway cable, and seven way Bargman wiring plug for the RV. Single 20 pound propane tank. There is a propane line hookup right there if you wanted to do a portable grill or something like that. And you also have room for one or two batteries to go on the front tongue. Uh, the RV does come with one deep cycle interstate battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase your RV from them. But it is the uh, dealer's responsibility to put a battery on the RV for you. There is a pass-through storage compartment across the front here. And pretty good sized compartment has uh, little magnetic holders for the baggage doors there. They do the more ride a uh, step above entry step here on the 19 series where they no longer do that on the 16 series. So that's a difference between the two product lines. Uh, traditional RV entry door screen door has a window in it. Uh, the large folding entry handle there and you also have next to that your model number and some informational stickers right there power awning with an led light strip built into the tube this is pretty cool because you can actually depending on how you uh, want the light to aim you can roll the awning in or out some to adjust that light either straight down or back toward the coach however you want the light to go and then down there by the other awning arm, they have a traditional RV light there, porch light there. And that actually is in bright white mode now, but you can flip the switch the opposite way and it'll turn to amber. So you have multiple light sources on the outside, depending on how bright you want it to be. Adjustable arms for water runoff and tilting of the awning there. The unit is a single axle unit. It has an upgraded Torsion Flex axle standard, so no leaf springs. Um, so it is a softer, easier ride on the RV than a traditional leaf spring axle. 
Nice big deep tent safety glass window there. Uh, that window does open 50%. The windows on the side of the camper do open, but the ones on the front and back of the camper do not, depending on the model. Um, also, the uh, unit is pre-wired for the new Wi-Fi antenna system if you wanted to add that aftermarket. Backing up here so you can see down the side and rear a little bit better. You have a ladder on the back, six gallon gas electric water heater that you see there, spare tire, um, four inch square tube bumper, great place to store dump hose or something like that. LED tail lights and running lights on the coach are also standard. Black tank flush to clean out the toilet system is right there under that ladder rung there. So you can hook up a hose there and um, kind of flush out and flood your toilet tank. Now, I did forget on this particular one, it has the bathroom in the back set up. So this one does have a window in the bathroom that does actually open on the back of the coach. Uh, coming around to this side of the camper, you have your dump area down below. So you've got your gray and black handle down here, uh, fully enclosed underbelly. This unit has 12 volt heated holding tank feature. That is technically an option. Um, a lot of dealers are starting to stock it with the 12 volt heat pads. So if you want to do that, if you're more of a cold winter camper, that will definitely help you. So you've got the furnace kind of helping out, keep things warm. You got 12 volt heat pads, keeping things warm. So it does uh, do a pretty decent job in the colder weather. Furnace exhaust out here, power cord detachable right there. Cable satellite hookups, uh, refrigerator access panel for maintenance and venting. Then you have an outside utility shower here with hot and cold water. There's your fresh water tank fill up and city water hookup right there. The other side of the storage compartment. Spin back around here so you can kind of see down the side a little bit better. The unit is a fiberglass side exterior. You have aluminum studs throughout the coach on the walls, roof, and floor. Um, you also have the Asdale on board feature, which is basically the fiberglass is glued to the Luon, or I'm sorry, to the Asdale material instead of Luon. So if it does spring a leak, it is much less likely to have any type of delamination issue and things like that on your sidewall. So if you Google RV delamination, you'll see where you get like bubbles and stuff in the side of your fiberglass, things like that. Um, that is in part because of water getting in behind the fiberglass, damaging and rotting wood Luon backers. So you don't have the wood Luon backers in this. You got the Asdale on board. Check out the link below for a little more information on that information. Again, guys, check out CouchesRVNation.com. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Up top there, you can see the Rhino Rack system, um, along with uh, your air conditioners and some of the venting there in the picture that popped up. Again, guys, check us out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.